Well, we're kind of off screwing around doing some things. Right. <laughs> so what we're doing is sort of a preview of upcoming attractions because, well, frankly, we're on the road. Right. Now, as everybody knows, we've been working on the portal between the inside and outside railroad. Right. And the last thing we showed was cutting the hole. Right. Which was pretty scary. No, no kidding. And now we're actually finishing off the inside of the hole and the inside portal and the outside portal and the scenery between the two. And uh, it's actually turned out to be quite a project. No, no kidding. Jeez. And a little bit stressful because uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> right, cutting a hole in the side of a building. <laughs> and then trying to, you know, we didn't really have a, a solid idea for how this was going to go together. So we've been improvising. Oh, yes, I'll bet. Yes. It, it works for jazz. Yeah, it does. And this is kind of jazz. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the outside part of the portal here. And again, this will be a complete upcoming show because actually it's it's mostly finished now. I took some old cedar wood that's been out in the yard and cut it into strips. And uh, oddly enough, weathered cedar looks a lot like we weathered cedar. Yeah, exactly. And there's be no better way to weather it than leave it outside. <laughs> leave, leave it out in the leave rain right and out stuff. There. So this wood's been out there for a couple of years and doesn't it look like it? Yes. So uh, I also set the figure here because it's really easy to lose track of the scale of something as big as a tunnel portal. Uh, but these slats are, are um, 18 inch slats, the uh, boards that make this thing up. So they're huge, the whole thing's huge. This is the inside part of the portal and it has uh, an insulated door that goes from the inside and then I'm building a, a portal that's kind of based on the portal at the old original Disneyland Railroad, the, uh, the Rainbow Caverns Mine Train. It's also sort of based on a, a covered bridge. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's very, very freelance, but my, my real inspiration was the mine train ride at the original Disneyland. Next up, we have all this broken cinder block <laughs> outside. And, um, well, I'd always planned on sculpting scenery out of mortar mix. We had Steve do this on the, the old, old railroad uh, back when I had the Garden Railroad back in the 1990s and 80s. Wow. And it turned out so neat, I thought, you know, I think I can probably do that. Oh, I imagine. And make it work. So this was the first attempt. I just tested it on a little small section here and it worked out great. So I thought, well, I, I can make this work. Because gee, what could go wrong? Uh, well. Well. <laughs> well, a lot of things can go wrong, I guess. This was, uh, one of those great plans I had, I thought, you know, this pink foam, uh, the extruded styrofoam, extruded styrene, it works so great on the inside part of the railroad. Why not construct the, the basic shape out of that and then trowel the mortar mix on top of the styrene foam? Well, it's what they do when they stucco houses. Yeah, it seemed like a pretty rational idea. And, uh, there it is. There's the first attempt at doing that, and it looked really, really good. And uh, we went to bed that night thinking, yeah, this is going to be just wonderful. And oddly enough, by morning, the whole thing had failed. Right. Well, we had a horrendous rainstorm, <laughs> too, which did not help matters. The rain started, so I scored the heck out of it. I had to tear it all apart scored lines in there, added Gorilla Glue. Well, this will all be covered when we do a show on this. But here's the second attempt, and I'm actually quite happy with it. Yes, it's good. I think it turned out better than the first time. I think so. And so hopefully now, this so far it seems that it has actually dried this time. And I, I think it actually looks really good. I like the Scrabble stuff below, that's cool. Isn't that neat? 
And so I, I continued on down the ramp and did some work down at this end. Sure. So again, this will be an upcoming show on how to carve scenery out of mortar mix. You know, we're also doing some, some 3D work. We've got a friend named Daniel Keith, mm -hmm. and uh, he does 3D design work, and he wants to develop a line of doors. This is something that's already available, but everything is in half-inch scale. Right. And we want to do stuff in 20th scale. Exactly. So he's, he's doing that for us. This is your project. Yes, yet again. It's <laughs> like seeing double. This is a smaller version of the house I grew up in. Yeah, you already modeled this in about a 20th scale. Yeah, pretty close to 20th scale. And now you're doing it in about a 65th scale. Right. Yeah, about S scale for the railroading people. Out right, there. same size as with a Hot Wheels car fits it. And I'm doing a full interior on this as well, exactly how I remember it back in the day. That is really cool. I love the cuckoo clock. Yeah, as close as I could to make something that teeny. Well, and we still have the cuckoo clock. We do. It's an heirloom now. And you're going nuts with this project. Right. Almost the same scale right there, but that little room inside of a walnut shell. Yeah, kind of tricky to do an entire room inside of a walnut right. shell. Right. And today I'm trying to figure out how to put lights in those two that really work. You know, they'd make really cool Christmas ornaments. Right. We That's what I was thinking. On the Christmas tree. Exactly. I, especially just, I imagine these all lit up. I Yeah, I think I can make them light up. I know you can. And when it comes to projects, well, uh, no one has projects like our friend Ed Dickens. Yes, he's got a few big ones. <laughs> <laughs> he decided to pull all four steam locomotives and the DD40X out and just, just take pictures from the man lift. Isn't that neat? They're getting three of these locomotives. That would be uh, the three on the far right there ready for the move to Silvis. And uh, we're going to follow that move. It probably won't happen until spring, but nobody's quite sure just yet when that's going to happen. Mm, stay tuned. And people keep asking, what's become of Adam Pinellas and his railroad? Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Well, actually, uh, typical of, of a lot of people, he decided to tear the whole thing out. Yes, I know that feeling. <laughs> and start over. And this is one of the start over projects. This is a gondola he's building. Now, his railroad is, of course, seven and a half inch gauge. Right, easier to work on. Easier to work and two and a half inch scale. Oh. So it's just huge. No nut, and, nut, bolt, and washer castings here. These are actual nuts, bolts, and washers. Mm -hmm. But look at the construction. Is that amazing? Oh, that's awesome. That is just turning out so cool. So he's working on a couple of different pieces of rolling stock and some wheel trucks. In the meantime, he's also rebuilding the whole railroad outside. In fairness, he hasn't torn the whole thing out. Not quite. Just almost. But um, he had already started on the giant waterfall over here. But he's working on the plate girder bridge here that goes in front of the waterfall. He's redone part of the waterfall and he's preserved a small amount of track going over to this trestle and the trestle was there. That's so neat. Everything else has been torn out. Yes. <laughs> and started over. All new landscaping, all new uh, contour to the landscaping, everything new. Right. So we'll be getting down there and following up with him. Right. It's a bit of a drive from here. It is. That's the only thing. So we don't get down there a whole lot, but we'll be getting down there and following up on his construction. Right. In the meantime, we'll just keep working on our own projects here uh, at Garage Mahal. We've got plenty. <laughs> we've got plenty. Well, if you're not a subscriber or even a member, of the channel, you can click on the upcoming subscribe button, the infamous blue button. Right there. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, we're not sure how you found this preview of coming attractions. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday because we're reviewing another product. Right.